Hi, I'm a 27-year-old male. I am active, physically fit, eat well, and in overall good health. Recently, I have started to experience some sort of bowel disorder. About four months ago, I started having occasional sharp pains in my rectum area, and I would feel the urge to have a bowel movement, but when I sat on the toilet, I would only pass gas. I dismissed this as perhaps I was having too much protein in my diet, and not enough fiber, as I was drinking three to four protein muscle shakes a day. I was spending a lot of time sitting on the toilet, with very minimal stool. I would pass tiny pellet-like stool, and I would mostly pass gas. Upon wiping, I would notice faint traces of light red blood on the toilet paper, as if I had some sort of external bleeding. The issue seemed to pass, as I incorporated some fiber and yogurt into my diet. About two or three weeks ago, I started having the urge to go to the bathroom multiple times a day. I constantly had the urge to go, but nothing would come out. I would also have momentary severe sharp rectal pains. After spending 20 minutes on the toilet, I would be able to push something out. However, I never felt as if I was completely empty, and I would be back on the toilet shortly after. Upon wiping, I started to notice a little blood on the toilet paper, very little, and it wasn't like a deep, dark red. In addition, I also feel like I have something stuck up my anus. I would describe the sensation as the feeling one has when passing a hard stool, prior to it descending from the anus, it just feels like something is swollen, or up there obstructing my anus. I have also had abdominal pain, cramping, and it sounds like there's a whirlpool inside of my belly. Two days ago, I decided to go to the ER, because it had been approximately three weeks since my bowel habits suddenly changed, and I was in pain. The physician determined that I was constipated after an abdominal x-ray, sticking his finger up my butt, and a blood test, and I was treated with a Dulcolax suppository, 150 milliliters of magnesium citrate, and I was told to take 100 milligrams colase every 12 hours. I have been following the directions, and I have gone to the bathroom about 10 times now, where I just leak brown water into the toilet. However, the abdominal distension, pain, cramping, and churning are still present. I also still have the feeling of something up my butt. I'm drinking lots of fluids to replace what I'm losing, and urinately frequently with clear urine, so I don't think I am dehydrated. There is also a little blood on the toilet paper when I clean myself, it seems to be coming from the inside of my anus, it's not in the stool, but I get some on the paper when wiping. I still am cramped, feel full, and have this pressure in my rectum slash anus. I don't think I have hemorrhoids, I think the physician would have noticed when he was examining my rectum. However, I also don't think what I'm experiencing is constipation because I am doing nothing but having diarrhea now, which is probably a result of the laxatives. What could this possibly be? Do I have colon cancer? Hello, this is Dr. David. I have read your question and am ready to help. I am a cancer doctor. I don't think you have colon cancer. I think you have rectal diverticulosis and the small hard stools are aggravating your diverticulosis. If stool gets stuck in a diverticula, it can get infected and turn into diverticulitis and the pain from that lands you in the hospital. I don't think you have had diverticulitis yet. Diverticulosis can be confirmed with a colonoscopy or sigmoidoscopy examination. The way to help your situation is to take in much more fiber into your diet than you currently are. 
you have to eat a lot more fresh fruits and vegetables and even take Metamucil to add fiber to your diet. This will help bulk up your stool so you stop having those small pebbly stools. And when your stools are larger, you become more regular with your bowel movements. You should eat bran cereal, whole grain breads and cereals, lots of fruits and vegetables, and add Metamucil to your diet. Good luck! If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.